114,000 tons and more than 4,000 people. Those who survived her wrecking will always remember the Costa Concordia. I thought I wouldn't get out. I thought I wouldn't get out. It was quite incredible. Yeah. The vast ship, one of the largest ever built in Italy, hit a rock outcrop on January 13th, tearing a hole the size of a tennis court in her side. Due to an electrical fault, which is currently under control, we're currently in a blackout. Our technicians are working to We resolve. were told that the electrical system was failing, and at first we were told not to panic and just stay wherever we were. And they came back on the intercom and said that they needed us to uh, report to our muster station, is that what it's called? It wasn't an electrical problem. The 300-metre ship was sinking in a way that made many of her life rafts useless. It's listing further and further. And in fact, it's going what seems to be nearly 90 degrees. But of course, gravity can't take the lifeboat down over the edge. Some took their chances and jumped. <laughs> yeah. and so it's kind of dangerous when you're all swimming, you know, because yeah. people, you know, people hit you in the face. Or the boat was falling so fast we thought it was going to hit us, and so we were swimming very fast. And it turned out it did fall where we were, but real slowly. Almost all of those on board were saved, but the search for the missing and the dead became one of the largest maritime rescue operations in years. The Costa Concordia was one of the world's most luxurious and largest cruise ships. Now she is a memorial to the dangers of the sea.